Welcome to the world of technology, a world where every single day some new company will do some new innovation that will make your jaw drop. And this is the interesting one that I have. I, in fact, I have a whole plethora of things right now. I'm going to take you through all of them. This is, of course, starting off the show with the Microsoft Surface Go. Now, the Surface series for Microsoft has been an amazing revelation because Microsoft that never got their hardware right suddenly started getting everything right. And one of the things missing in their portfolio was a very, very portable computer. This is the Go. So it comes with a stylus, I mean, if you want to buy it, of course. And it comes with this, the keyboard that you got, of course, if you want to buy it. Predominantly, it's a tablet, right? But it becomes a hybrid very, very well. And I think anybody that is buying this should buy it for the notebook capability and not for the tablet capability. Has that little kickstand at the back. But is it as good as the rest of the Surface series and how is it priced against the competition? We'll answer all those questions. Then we move on to a smartwatch by a company that is starting to really get inroads into customers who really want something for fitness, for running, and even for health reasons. This is a very good looking watch by Amazfit. It's called the Verge. So even though it's not based on Android where it is compatible, but it also means that you can't really add too many things to it other than what they've given you. But it has something which is a big claim. They say that the heartbeat, the study and the analysis of the heartbeat is 98% accurate, way more than anybody else. Well, we'll find out about that. And then of course, the favorite thing that I have on the show, I won't tell you more other than the fact that this will make your jaw and your eyes drop. If you are looking for a budget surface device, Microsoft has something to offer with the go. Time for a world tour with the ultimate tech toy in our studio and the potential buyer puts it to test. Get ready to spread some tech love with our Valentine's Day buying guide. First, of course, we'll start off with all the news coming in from the world of gadgets. As per recent report by TechCrunch, some iOS apps are taking users' screenshots without their consent. Apple has taken this seriously and has told developers to either remove the code or disclose it to users to avoid harsh penalties. Dyson has added another air purifier to its range in India. The Pure Hot Cool is a multifunctional purifier for all year-round use. Besides filtering air, it also ensures that your room is at an optimum temperature by giving out hot or cool air. Priced at about 53,000 rupees, we will get you a closer look at this product very soon on our show. The Microsoft Surface Go, their most portable laptop hybrid tablet ever. 10 inches, great screen, fantastic keyboard. The things that they've done with this, including the kickstand at the back, make sure that this can be used as a proper laptop even on a lap. So I've tried it out. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're not that kind of shifty person that kind of shifts too much and your lap, actually your thighs keep kind of changing their position, this works very, very well. Uh, in all other surfaces, it works absolutely fantastic. But what is it about the Surface series that has really taken the world by storm? It's because they're very high end. It's the answer to all Mac related products. You know that big question, I don't want to get into the MacBook domain, so what's my alternative? Microsoft answered that, but there are many others that are answering it, including Acer, Asus, and Dell. So this is more a look at the portability and the exact category, the kind of people that can and should be buying this, the Microsoft Surface Go. For those who have wanted the experience of a Surface device but did not have the kind of money to splurge on it, this may be a budget option for you, but is it our recommendation? Let's dig beneath the Surface to find out. The Microsoft Surface Go does not look like a budget laptop in any way. It has a magnesium frame and a sturdy built. This one has the nifty kickstand which makes it easy to switch between the tablet and laptop mode. But the Go does not seem to follow the current trend of an edge-to-edge -edge display and has rather thick bezels which look quite old school and houses a 10-inch screen with 1800 by 1200 pixel resolution. The contrast ratio, black levels are impressive, no complaints with the display except when you take it outdoors when it is very hard to read. The Go supports facial recognition with Windows Hello login with a 5 megapixel front camera. The tablet mode is low on functionality, there's no intuitive way to switch between apps and you may find yourself struggle between app windows. The back has an 8 megapixel camera, 
While the camera is not a primary feature on a tablet, but the quality seemed decent and video chats were smooth. The Go runs on the Windows 10 in S mode, which limits you to download only certified apps. You can upgrade to the complete Windows 10 OS as well, which would be our recommendation. The 10 inches powered by Intel Pentium Gold 4415 CPU and Intel HD Graphics 615 and has 128 GB storage. In our time with the Go, we did not face any hiccups or lag in performance as we have the higher end 8 GB RAM variant. However, keep in mind that this device is not intended for heavy video or photo editing or gaming and may seem sluggish if you operate heavy apps on it. In terms of ports, there's a Type-C port, 3.5mm jack and the elusive microSD card reader and a Surface Connect port to connect with other docking accessories. The front speakers are pretty impressive for a budget tablet. The Surface Go comes with its accomplices, though at an added cost. The type covers for about 8,700 rupees and the Surface Pen, which is about 8,000 rupees onwards. The type cover attaches magnetically to it, giving the ease of a laptop and the comfort of typing using physical keypad. The Surface Pen is intended towards the creative ones who are into sketching and designing. However, as we told you, being a budget tablet, it may not be able to support very heavy apps. The Surface Go is priced at about 38,000 rupees for the 4GB RAM variant and 50,000 rupees for the 8GB RAM variant. Do remember that with the type cover, the price may come up to 60,000 rupees and you could get mid-segment laptops at that price. Our next story is on the Amaze Fit. We've done products from this company before, but they've been slightly lower end and one has been even a little bit more higher end. This is for about 11 to 12,000 rupees. It's called the Verge. And it actually is on the verge of displacing a few companies because at that price point, 11 to 12,000 rupees, I think in terms of the feature set, in terms of the look and feel of this, I don't think it really has much competition. But I'm going to tell you some of the things that I love about it. Uh, it's very, very accurate. It works very, very well. The app is fantastic. Sometimes the sync takes just that wee bit more time than you don't expect it to. But other than that, uh, it's not waterproof. It's splash proof. So unless your swimming is done in a kiddie pool and you're only splashing around out there, don't wear it in the swimming pool. Here's our full review. February has already crept up on us and if one of your predictable New Year resolutions was to get fit, it's not too late to start. Another sports watch is promising you a better lifestyle with its many features and all you have to do is dole out around 12,000 rupees for it. Chinese company Huami has launched another smartwatch, the Amaze Fit Verge and this one offers quite a lot at this price point. As far as looks go, this one looks like a rugged sports watch and comes with a silicon strap. The Verge comes with a 1.3 inch AMOLED display and has inbuilt features like heart rate monitoring and notifications for everyday use. The company claims that the Verge can run all day heart rate monitoring with a high precision optical sensor and is accurate up to 98%. It also notifies users of health risks like cardiac arrhythmia and atrial fibrillation. It is difficult to know how accurate these readings are. If anything, one hopes that the watch will convince you to get regular checkups if anything worrisome pops up. Do note that you also get these features in the new Apple Watch which is more than three times the price. Battery life of the Verge is decent and we got almost five days of basic use on a single charge, which is in line with what the company says. The watch comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 3, is IP68 water resistant, dust resistant and has a 4GB built-in flash memory. It has the usual frills of a smartwatch which include an optical heart rate sensor, an acceleration sensor, geomagnetic sensor, gyroscope and air pressure sensor. There is also a microphone and a speaker for making calls. We tried some of the activities like running and walking and the watch gave us plenty of metrics to track our fitness. Similar to the Apple Watch, you get activities like cycling, elliptical, climbing, skiing and more. You can also connect your music and enjoy some beats on the go. While most apps worked well, syncing the watch to the Amazfit Verge app at times was a problem. We lament the fact that the watch doesn't run on Wear OS but is based on its custom operating system which performs well though, but you can't download third-party apps on it. We do feel that the app needs a little more work. All in all, we like that the Verge comes with built-in GPS and offline music storage and is priced well considering the features it packs in. So if you're on the verge of embarking on a new fitness journey, the Amazfit Verge is a good option for you. 
And now comes the part of the show that I think I truly enjoy and I think the most important part and I really want to reach out and tell you all of this. You remember the time when you were a child and you would go to a park and run around and just how good that would feel. Get onto a cycle for the first time, how good it would feel. I think adults are killers of dreams. Now I know this is one of those very philosophical kinds but this is proof how your imagination can run wild. So while this is only for children at the age of around four or so, and I'll tell you what all it has. I've had more fun with this than any of the other products on the show today. So this is what happens. This is the Shifu or boot, okay? The company is called Shifu and it's a globe, right? So pretty much a normal, simple globe, about 2000 bucks, which means the globe's expensive. But you get a lot more with it. So this is a AR, VR enabled globe. What you do is you fire up the app like I have right now. And there are various stars that are given out here, as you can see in the close up of the globe we're showing you right now. Just go and put the star that is on the app right now onto a star here and it immediately spawns up and it's very, very quick. It immediately spawns up information of the things around it. So, you know, Arctic polar bear and the polar bear actually has a pretty nice deep gruff voice and says, what's up? So interesting thing that they've done. The animation is a little limited. I was expecting that the minute I would do that, the AR part would have the, the polar bear actually jumping on the globe which will of course be on the screen. But the rest of the execution is very interesting and for 2000 rupees I think this could really fire a child's imagination. It did mine. Greetings and welcome. It's we get a lot of gadgets in our studio for review now, week after this week. This is our very special show. I believe three of the products I've got really make it very interesting. But this is one gadget that gripped the entire tech team. Not a conventional tech product. This is the Shifu Orboot and it will make you go around the world in much, much less than 80 days. It's a one-of-a-kind globe that has augmented reality built in. If you want to go on this world tour, make sure you have your passport ready. For starters, you get one in the box, all complete with visa, boarding passes and immigration stamps. No kidding! Get started with the solo trip, begin by downloading the compatible app on your phone. Once that is done, just bring it close to any part of the globe or any country you wish to explore. There are tiny stars scattered all over the globe. Place your phone over it and watch the highlights or special landmarks of that region. There are different categories of wildlife, inventions, food and more. For instance, we placed it over India and the Royal Bengal Tiger popped up who gave a little introduction of himself. I'm the Bengal Tiger from India. Nice to meet you. There was also the polar bear in the Arctic zone that had greeted Rajiv. What's up? I'm the polar bear, just chilling in the snow. You could also meet the Australian kangaroo or the giant panda of China. And if you want a taste of world cuisine, albeit virtually, you get it all, including Indian street food like Vada Pao and Chole Bhature. The app also has a game built in where you have to feed the right animal the right kind of food. See, that's how simple it is. Play Shifu's or boot is intended for little kids and we took it straight to the potential customer. As we expected, the kids were smitten by the globe and the wonders of Master Shifu. Getting a hang of how it worked was very easy for the young learners. We do wish that the animation was more extensive and detailed to make children's imagination run wild and hold their otherwise short attention span. Also, the material used on the globe does not seem too sturdy. And considering it's a kid's toy, it may not be able to survive their brutal drop test. Having said that, priced at about 2000 rupees, the Or Boot by Play Shifu is an intriguing toy for kids and those who are kids at heart. So now that you know that you could be the world's most travelled person on the planet, we'll take a break right now. When we come back, something else that takes an entire year to finally come back to you. Some people call it Valentine's Day. I have a slightly different name for it. I'll reveal that passion that I have for that day when we come back. Welcome back. This is, of course, the show where we are now talking about Valentine's Day. 
Now I have to tell you, I have very, very strong thoughts on this day. So of course, it's a day of love, right? But I always ask people, besides the commercial elements where companies have really pushed it, flower companies, card companies, uh, chocolate companies, uh, confectionery companies, they've really pushed the envelope literally on this day. What else does this day really signify? Okay, So what it really signifies is that you really love certain people only on one day of the year and the rest of the days, the other 364 days and then some, what you're really doing is you have indifference for them, hatred for them. What does it really signify? Why isn't the love there for the entire year? So now just, that's just me and my feelings. Of course, the producers of the show are a very sentimental lot. They've already booked the places that they're going. They booked the people that they're going. One or two people, the producers have booked with four or five different people, uh, morning, afternoon and evening Valentine's Day. That then, of course, is just the way the day is. At this present moment, what we're going to do as a story is awesome techie stuff you can give to your loved one on Valentine's Day and every other day. Pink roses, red roses or white lilies, what to get? Well, the day of love, otherwise known as Valentine's Day, makes many quake in their boots, at least when it comes to buying gifts for their special someone. So whether you're one of those who cringes at the idea of Valentine's Day or are desperately in love, we suggest you put some tech in your gift cart. Alexa, do you love me? Well, if you've got a special someone who isn't a sassy voice assistant, we suggest you shower him or her with some love with Amazon's third generation smart speaker, the Echo Dot. It comes with an easy four button control similar to the second generation, but this one picks up voice commands more smoothly. It looks great in just about any room and you can empower Alexa with enough skills to help you get your tasks done. The Echo Dot is priced at 4,499 rupees. And if you want to convert any old speaker into a smart speaker and talk to Alexa, you can also gift your partner the Echo input for 3,000 rupees. Everyone loves to sway to romantic music this time of the year and some even like to celebrate their newfound singledom with some fitness gear for that revenge body. So gift them a fitness smartwatch from Goki, Garmin or a Macefit. And if you're in a generous mood, go for the new Apple Watch which costs more than 40,000 rupees. And for those looking for good audio, go for the Jabra Elite Active 65T Alexa-enabled wireless earbuds which come with great sound and battery life. These will cost you around 16,000 rupees. And if you're willing to truly splurge for love and enjoy audio nirvana, go for the Sony WH-1000XM3 headphones which come with noise cancellation technology and also boast of a bigger price tag. Get ready to spend almost 30,000 rupees for them. But what's the price of love? And if you're looking for cheaper audio options, try earphones from Bode, Philips and even Skull Candy which are under 10,000 rupees. Not everyone is going on a date this Valentine's Day and some of us just love being couch potatoes. And that is why we suggest you invest in the Alexa-controlled Amazon Fire TV Stick, which is now 4K enabled. Whether you're watching Netflix rom-coms, thrillers like you or sacred games, the new Fire TV Stick from Amazon worth 6,000 rupees is a great buy. If giving jewellery and flowers to your not-so-sentimental partner doesn't work for him or her, put a sprocket in their pocket. The new Sprocket Plus from HP costs 8,999 rupees and is just what the doctor ordered. It prints photos directly from your phone and can be connected to your smartphone via Bluetooth. And if your partner loves vintage, you can also go for the Instax Square SQ6 from Fujifilm, which lets you enjoy on-the-spot printing. This one costs nearly 10,000 rupees and the film is priced high at 700 rupees. Want to give a hint wrapped in a shiny wrapper to your disorganized partner? Go for the William Penn Smart Organizer. For around 6,000 rupees, you get an organizer which packs in a 16 GB USB drive, an inbuilt 4,000 mAh power bank, and even a charging cable for Android phones, iPhones, and Type C devices. Your partner may thank you later or pick up a fight. You'll have to risk it. That then was the show for this week, but I have to tell you now a quick preview of what's coming up in the next few weeks. Multiple people from here, unfortunately not me, multiple team members are flying off to very exotic locations all over the world. A lot is going to come back. Keep watching the show. <laughs>